Hey guys, and welcome to Cause Creations Patreon Challenge for February. really quick. These were a little bit different greens for me. Um, they weren't anything that I could just go grab a tube and make it. So I got to play mad scientist and put my lab coat on. And guys, I just cannot express the satisfaction you feel when you're going for a certain shade and you're mixing it yourself and you just nail it. It is so cool. So let's start with the dark one here. This is Soho Terry Verde with some Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet and two drops of Vivid Intense Carbon Black. So it's a really deep kind of grayish green and it is so pretty. So the next one is uh, Amsterdam Olive Green Deep with some Liquitex Titanium White. I just lightened it up a bit. This is uh, Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow with some Amsterdam Olive Green Deep and some Titanium White. So I'm hoping these will work for what I'm trying to do. And then of course I have some regular Liquitex Titanium White. Now I have printed off an image um, from the internet and I have taped it to the back of a piece of glass. This is just a piece of glass out of a frame and I am gluing directly onto the glass. Now you might be wondering how do you deal with all of those little strings that you get from the glue gun? Well, when you're done, if you just run a torch over it very quickly, it will get almost all of those little strings. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, this takes a long time.
Here I'm just using a flat razor blade to scrape the glue off of the glass. However, if you spray it down with isopropyl alcohol, let it sit for just a little bit and then scrape it, it will come off really, really easily. This is just plain old Liquitex Titanium White. Now, if you've ever worked with pigments, you know that they are pretty darn transparent. And I did not want that green influencing the color of my pigments uh, in any way, shape, or form. So I traced the stencil and uh, am painting the inside white so that my pigments will have a nice white neutral background to go on to. They won't be influenced by the green at all and they'll be pretty, pretty pink. These are all color art primary elements. We have frog prints, sage, and Laguna Azul. You can see that these greens are way different than the ones in the background. And I did that deliberately because I really wanted these leaves to stand out from that background. My pigments were mixed with Liquitex Extra Heavy Gloss Gel. And here we have TLP Sangria, Color Art Shy Rose, Primary Elements, and Primary Elements Chiffon Pink. Here it is, and what I did to get it so shiny was I took some Triart liquid glass and kind of used it like resin and just put a really thick coat on the colors and uh, made it really, really shiny. 
Now I think what I'm gonna do is go back over everything with, I have some, I need a stick here, hold on. I have some Violet Diamonds by Color Art. I'm trying to see how close I can get here. Yeah, you can't really see the violet here, um, but they're really sparkly and it gives a violet hue, um, super pretty. So I think that is what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. I'm just gonna put um, a little bit, maybe not on all of it, but I think that might be what I do, just on certain parts maybe. I don't know if I can do it from this side or not. 